If you are finished with your Fusion 360 file and you've already saved it as an STL file, you're ready to print. So the first thing you need to do is get the correct software for your printer. If you're using the MakerBot printer, go ahead and get the MakerBot Desktop 3.10 software. If it's not already on your computer, you can search for that online and then click on the correct download for your computer. You can see here I've downloaded and installed the MakerBot software. So that's what the icon looks like. When you double click on it, you get this screen. You're going to have to modify some of the settings based on which printer you're using. So if you're using the MakerBot replicator, um, a couple of things you're going to want to do is first go up here and check on, uh, go on devices and select type of device. So the printer we have in the Innovation Lab is actually the Replicator 5th generation. It is important that you click on the right one. If you click on the wrong one, the file that you save is not going to print on the printer. So make sure you click on Replicator 5th generation. Notice it actually changed some of the settings already. It's a larger uh, print. And then um, we're going to have to add a file. So go to File, Add, and find the STL file that you created. So I created this Jaguar STL file right here. Open. When it first adds it to your print screen, it probably is not in the correct direction. So you have to print it with the flat side down. When it has this yellow border, it means it's selected. If you uh, don't have the yellow border, it's not selected. So click on it, select it, and you can actually turn it. So there's different directions you can turn it in. You can kind of like play around with that a little bit. And then uh, make sure that eventually, like right now it's facing us forward, but we want it to be flat down. And we don't want it to be the bar relief side up, we want it to be the flat side down. So flip it till the flat side is down, then click on lay flat. You can also move it here. In general, it's best to have it in the center position and double check that it's on the platform. But if you're printing a larger file or um, multiple things, you can actually move it with the X, Y, and Z as well. But I prefer center. Once it's in the correct position, it's laid flat, then you have to click on settings. Standard setting is fine. If you're printing something really fast, you can try the low setting. What that means is it'll just print it faster for you, um, but it won't necessarily be as high quality. Do not print it on high quality. It will take forever to print and it honestly won't look that much better. So standard quality is fine. Make sure you have the Smart Extruder Plus selected. If you click on this one, it's not going to print it properly for you. Okay, so click on Smart Extruder Plus. It's MakerBot PLA. The temperature is fine. The number of shells is fine. The infill is fine. You don't need to change any of that other stuff. And then click OK. Now that all the settings are cracked, export print file, and it'll save it to your desktop. So if you did all of that correctly, you should have gotten a file like this that's called jaguar.makerbot. This is what you're going to put on the flash drive and then on the flash drive you put, put that into the MakerBot printer and select it and it should print properly. If it's not printing properly, most likely you have something wrong with your settings here and you have to go back and redo the settings.